Concerns for a second wave of coronavirus. Good evening, everyone. I'm Claire Kellett. I'm Samantha Jones. Steve is off this evening. Both St. Louis City and County ease some restrictions on businesses Monday. We'll break down those coming for you here in just a minute. With this, though, the county is reopening 21 more parks. Right now, the Regional Pandemic Task Force is warning this may bring that surge of new cases if we're not careful. News Force Kim St. Ange is live this evening following new warnings from the experts. Kim? Well, right now, Sam, we're actually at Parkway Southwest Middle School. This is where you can see dozens of cars are driving in for this parade to honor the Parkway South High School seniors. Tonight, the St. Louis Pandemic Task Force is stressing we need to continue efforts like this, making sure there is community spacing and distancing. New analytics are concerning the task force as we move to reopen the county and city Monday. There is some good news. Listen to this. Admissions and hospitalizations from the coronavirus in the metro are trending down. Hospitalizations are actually the lowest since tracking began back in March, but they're not going down fast enough. That's what the task force is saying, and that's triggering them to focus on the future. So look at this graph from the task force. Given the data we have right now, their forecasting shows we could be looking at another wave of coronavirus. In fact, the task force believes by mid to late June, the second wave in St. Louis could possibly be worse than the first. Again, at this hour, this is just a prediction, but given some other states that have already been reopening in the last couple of weeks, there have been some surges in cases. Here's task force commander Dr. Alex Garza. We're, we're always concerned whenever you're taking your foot off the brake. What is this going to look like? How should we be preparing for it? All of those things. And so um, that's why it's important that uh, we keep stressing all of those pieces of, of you know, hand washing, all that stuff, but, but also keeping an eye on the data. Again, this evening's new prediction is just that. Your help is needed to keep bringing down the number of cases. Last week, News 4's exclusive tracking did find a 10% drop in cases here in the St. Louis area. Live in West County, Kim St. Ange, News 4.